Sonic the Hedgehog for Atari 2600. Now, Sonic the Hedgehog came out originally on the Sega Genesis, two full console generations after the original Atari. However, thanks to a dedicated fan, we've gotten this game along with a demake of Super Mario Bros. called Princess Rescue for the Atari 2600. This is Zippy the Porcupine, something that's only not called Sonic because they legally wanted to sell this as a homebrew. But, oh yeah, it's Sonic, and that's what we're going to be looking at on today's review. Welcome to Stuff We Play, home of everything weird and retro, and oh boy, what we're looking at today is certainly weird and retro. And if that sounds cool to you, why not subscribe? Zippy the Porcupine for Atari 2600. This is a fan-made demake of sorts of Sonic 1, though there are some liberties taken, let's go into that. As you can tell graphically speaking, yes, it's an Atari game, but wow does it look great for an Atari game. Look at that, that's some smooth scrolling and every single act of every single zone has multiple layers which can be accessed through these springs. Yes, it's not as smooth as a Genesis game, and yes, Sonic comes to a stop much quicker than Genesis games, but there is an attempt at momentum-based platforming here. And to be honest, Sonic lends itself well to the one-button control scheme of the Atari. After all, you just need one move. You jump, and then if you press down and jump, you spin dash. And that's it. Holding down will still roll you into a ball, and look, there's even loops here. They're a little finicky, but holy crap, they accomplished loops on an Atari game. Makes you wonder how they couldn't do that in Sonic 1 on Master System. Now, this game is highly inspired by Sonic the Hedgehog 1. We have a Dr. Robotnik type character who steals the five Chaos Emerald looking things. And this is up to you as not Sonic, aka Zippy, to go save the planet or South Island, or whatever this is. You're then presented with a world map. What really sets this game apart from a usual Sonic game is its level progression. It reminds me a bit of Knuckles Chaotix, but without the randomness factor. You start off at a random stage in one of four zones. The four zones here are Hill Zone, Cave Zone, Star Zone, and Aqua Zone. Each of the four zones has four acts, but how it works is Robotnik's gonna go to a random act of a random zone, and then you have to move across the board to get there, completing each stage. Every time you complete a stage, you can go to any adjacent stage across the map. Any stage you've completed, you don't have to go through again, and you, it's mainly just a chase against Robotnik. There's technically a fifth act as well, which is a boss fight, and that will occur with whatever tile Robotnik himself is on. Now that's not to say there isn't level progression. Act 1 of a zone is definitely easier than Act 4, and the final boss is no slouch, though most of the boss fights here are pretty easy. This game is honestly a, a real technical marvel, kind of reminds me of the likes of Halo 2600 in that sense. Everything you'd want in a Sonic game is here, from tight controls, to decent looking graphics, to even really interesting stages. None of the stage design here actually feels bulky, in fact some of the levels even have gimmicks that are pretty cool. Now, I should mention as well, there is no Chaos Emerald system here. You mainly just get one of the five after you defeat Robotnik, and once you get the fifth one, congratulations, you're winner. Yeah. So that's Zippy the Porcupine for Atari 2600. It's a basic Sonic game, but it's a basic Sonic game running on the Atari, and that's impressive. This is a great game, definitely track it down, or if you're a purist, do what I really want to do, and see if you can get a copy of it. It's hard to come across actual physical cartridges of this because they're in high demand, and I understand why. It's a great game. Zippy the Porcupine comes highly recommended by me. It's the best Sonic game I've played in a long time, that's not a Sonic game. I placed it up there with the likes of Freedom Plan and whatnot. It's a good game. Except this one's very much so blatantly Sonic. But anyways, I'm just starting to ramble a bit. Have you played Zippy the Porcupine or any Atari games? Let me know your retro gaming memories down in the comment section below. And why don't you subscribe to Stuff We Play for more great content like this. Or if you really want to do something special, let me know more Atari homebrews to check out. Because this stuff's cool. Or I guess Sonic Realm hack stuff. You know the drill. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Stay classy and I'll see you next time.